All right, guys, I want to show you how to make a video to make a, a, a character that you'll be using in a game. So we're going to make a robot. And uh, one thing that's important to realize, it has to be in a T-pose. And another thing is you can customize this. All right, I'm going to show you sort of a basic, uh, and I won't make it perfect, and I would like you to try to make it a little more perfect. It's just a question of time. You'll have way more time than I will, all right? And a lot of the things that we've learned, you should try to uh, build into this, like edge loops, uh, using pivot points, which you uh, will watch the tutorial for today, uh, uh, right before this, so you may not have done it. I think we're running out of time, so I'm just combining it in here. So uh, let's go. So I'm going to create a cube. I'm going to drop it in here. And let's try that again. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to just click on my cube. The computer is extremely slow. So I'm going to zoom in, and uh, all right, so I'm going to click on WER, so there we go, I'm going to make this a little bit longer and wider for the body of the robot, kind of a rectangle, go W, go back up, and I got an extra square here, I'm going to delete that, don't need him yet, uh, and then I'm going to go into ortho mode, and you see here is your top view, your front view and your side view. So you can see if it's kind of placed. And I'm going to go with the front view. And I always remember, just to remind you, that this this is the z-axis. So this is your depth. This is your x-axis. All right? So that's how I know I'm in the right mode. So this is the robot is facing me right now. So I'm going to create a cube. And I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to go on R. And I'm going to make this the leg. And I'll make it a full leg. And again, you can kind of customize your own look. I'm going to go to W tool, and I'm going to move this. And you see these grid lines are very helpful to help you place your robot. So I'm going to click Command D or Control D, and here's my second leg. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to, oh, you see there's a space here. So let's fix that right now. So that's important that you would, like I said, take your time to make sure that these not just hanging in space and that everything's kind of even here. And you should still have the edge loop uh, feature in your, I see that for some reason it's not in mine. So I just added the edge loop tool, with, uh, which is command shift click of the tool and then it shows up in my bar. And I'm gonna click on this and I want it to uh, appear here. So I gotta click obviously, this is gonna be the foot and again, you have the option to create several more of these things. And perfect. Now I'm going to go to, and there it is. And I'm going to go back to my perspective mode and zoom in. And we're going to go to face mode. Complete tool, obviously. Why is it being silly here? Wait a second. So I'm going to go to face tool. Click here. Oops, I'm still on edge loop. And I want extrude. I um, can't remember what the hockey is right now, but so just click on face tool. Select the face that you want. Then click extrude. And you already know this what this is going to You need to kind of be in perspective mode here to see the dimension. And I'm going to do the same thing here face mode. And I'm going to click the G key just so it repeats. So a little shortcut. And there's the foot. You know, you could create knees or whatever. How would you create the knees? You could just add edge loops around each leg and make the knee pop out. You know, that's an easy way to do it. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on this and create another edge loop. That's going to be where I'm going to put my arm. Okay, so I'll you know, assume where's your arm. You could be funny and have it somewhere lower because it's a robot. But uh, actually don't do that because when we animate it, it won't work. So we'll put it roughly where human's arms would be. So there's my edge loop, and it's important because we're going to attach an, uh, an arm piece to that. So I'm going to create another um, cube. Oops. I'm going to go Z on that. I want a cube. And I can make sure. Just click up here. Now let's go W. I think it's creating it in the wrong spot. I'm just going to move this because. Um, select all and then move them out of the way. 
Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to go and do like we learned in that video, freeze transformation so that it always remembers where the 0, 0 coordinates are. So that if I retype the 0, 0 down here, like you saw in the tutorial, of it, it'll it just come back up here. Maybe I should just show you this. So if I type 0, it remembers the 0 coordinates, which is where the robot has to be exported from. So that it works in a game engine, okay? So here it is, and I'm going to create another cube. And there it goes, it's just because it always shows up there, depends on how you're, and I'm going to click on R, and I'm going to shrink this uh, through the middle, that's probably good enough. And uh, what I want to do is, I'm going to add that to the edge loop here. So I'm going to go to W, I'm going to move it sideways, and here, and up, and I'm click Alt, and just see where I'm at, and move that center. Okay, so kind of place yourself and what I want to do is use the pivot tool so I'm going to click here and use the D key well I don't use it I'm going to use the vertex key and make it click onto here. here select the object that you want I've already created the edge loop so there's a basically uh, I'm going to take this vertex and slap it on there so what I want to do is click uh, on V on the keyboard and just move the arrow and you'll see it'll, it'll slap, snap it right on there. Okay? And from here what I want to do is, I want to do that on both sides. But I'll probably do one side just for, say, and you can figure out how to do the other one. It shouldn't be too hard for you. I'm going to go in face mode, click here, and again extrude. And I'm going to do two parts of the arm. So one, that's like forearm. And I'm going to again click G and do another part. Okay, so that's the second part of his arm. And you could color these two different colors. That's the advantage, you probably know this about having separate polygons. And here, what I'm going to do is go R, and I'm going to. Is this the one? Yeah. Wait. You could shrink it like that. No, that's not what I want to do. It gives it kind of a, a dimension. Keep it simple. I'll keep the size of the arm the same. Then I'm gonna I'm on this face. I'm gonna click extrude, and then once I'm in extrude mode, um, I want to. Here. I'll click the extrude tool and select the cube and move in like this. And I'll leave this up to you. But click over here, and you're gonna click G extrude again. And so this is kind of like the claw. If you want to uh, make another claw here, let's do that too. And so he's got kind of like a hand. We want the hands to be simple, robotic, nothing too fancy. Uh, you could play around and go in the R tool and, and shift this. Um, now, one way to do this quickly is to go and click shift, click. But we want to be in object mode. Though. So let's do that. Shift, click, click. I think they're all one object. So let's go Command D. And let's see if I should have created the extra arm. Perfect. So I'm going to go and type uh, probably, is it rotate Y that's 180 or is it X? I think it's X. So let's go here. 180, press Enter. Oh, it flipped it that way. We don't want that. We want uh, row Y to be 180. Press Enter. So it flips it around like that. And I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to use the Alt key, rotate. And again, I should probably try and use the pivot trick that I was just, just showed you guys. So I'm going to go and uh, click on V and move it, and it snaps to the vertex. Okay. Now let's see if these two arms are more or less even. And it's about. Right, maybe it needs to be pushed in a little bit more. I don't know why the vertex is not the same, just it might be my angle. So I'm going to go Z and keep it the way it is. It should be perfect, okay? And you can step back and you can obviously go in ortho mode and you can measure it very easily here. See, now there it's pretty even, it might be just a little bit more in. So let's fix that to make sure and and go back to perspective mode. So I'm pretty happy with this. So now I'm going to go the body, arms, legs, and I'm going to go Alt and Rotate. And I'm going to click on the 
edge loop tool because I need this for the head too and I'm going to click over here roughly in the middle and I always keep my finger on it so I can move it around and I'm going to make another cube and again this is meant to be the neck actually you could always make it the head and uh, I'm going to use R shrink it so we have a neck and I will W move this up and move this back and then I'm going to go in to ortho mode C if it's kind of in the right spot it kind of seems that maybe just this one here needs to move, move back and I'm going to drop it right on there well, in fact I may want to use again the, uh, the trick which is a snap to tool so go here and usually it has to be an object mode I believe and you're going to click V and snap on oops, here V and just drop it and there it is see my vertex is a little bit that's fine so it snaps to it and you have a couple options here you could just create another block and but I'm going to just go extrude so again I said you could be creative and go with what works for you Whoa, that's the wrong key for sure. Um, what did I do here? I forgot to click on face mode. That would probably help. But then I'm going to click extrude. And now I'm going to extrude it. And I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to press F. And I'm going to go alt and move around. And this is where you can just do your own thing, you know, to make it look like whatever you want. And I'm going to go face mode again. And I'm going to go G for extrude because they're repetition of that command. And, you know, you just can keep going here. Maybe you want to go G here too. I'll leave that up to you. Use your own kind. Of, you're making a robot. You could use edge loops. And, you know, I want to see how you learn some of the concepts you learn to create your own kind of creature. And, you know, I do find the arms are a little low. So I, I could probably fix this at this point. Um, I'll go back in object mode and I'll click on both of these at the same time and I'll click on the W tool and move them both at the same time. So I, I probably should have made my edge loop a little higher. That was a trick that you learned. You know, on the chest here, you could also have a little bit of fun. So we're going to go and create an edge loop. Boom. And I'm going to click right over here. And see, I have some a face here that I could potentially extrude to make it look like something else is happening on this robot. So I'm going to click here. Um, is it me? Yeah. So at face mode. That is a face. Why is it not letting me select it? Oh, I'm on edge loop mode still. So um, I'm going to click on this. And I added an extra edge loop by accident here, so be careful with that. Unless you want to round the corners, like you learned in the cup, when you click the uh, smooth tool. If we click the smooth tool right now, it wouldn't look very good, I have a feeling. So I'll let you guys experiment with that. So is that Do I have an extra? Is it too late to, to get rid of that? Uh, right. Well... Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I want to be in face mode. So click here, and here I'm going to click uh, extrude, and I could make it look like the chest is popping out, and you know, create different parts. Always remember to work in quads, so you don't want any end gons for sure. And you know, and this too could affect the way you could create your eyes. You could uh, you know create like joints, and that's kind of what I expect you to experiment. Not just to leave it where we're at here. Uh, but to, uh, you know, build on the things that you learned. So here's my rudimentary robot. I will show you how I in animate it after. But your goal is to actually uh, work on this and save it as a scene and make sure you're aware. Where, and I haven't saved this. So I should probably save it right now. And I will call it robot. And I will just leave it on my... Uh, I don't know, my documents, I think. And the robot save. So once you're done, I will show you how to export it and bring it into another program. If you have any questions, please let me know. Oh, crap, I wasn't recording. Or was I? Nope.